Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. And in case you don't know me, my name is Kelly and um, I do videos like unboxings, like fashion unboxings, beauty unboxings, lifestyle boxes. I've also been known to do a product review and I have some critters back here. It's my son, Eli, and there's Eden back there. Anyway, um, so yeah, I love to do unboxings, I do product reviews, and just a random video every now and then. Uh, so anyway, today I have my stitch fix for, what's this, March <laughs> 2019. Okay, try this again. So hard to do these videos on weekends. Ah, with the kids. I don't know why I get my boxes on Fridays or Saturdays. It just drives me insane because I cannot do a video with the kids. I can't. Can't well, do it. I, I'm actually being quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, Eli. Oh boy. Okay, so where was I? Okay, Stitch Fix is a styling box. You pay a $20 styling fee, answer a whole bunch of questions, and they assign you a stylist. They send you five items of clothes. Most of the time it's clothing. Sometimes you can get um, shoes or accessories, but I always ask for clothing. And if you choose to keep anything in the box, you get, uh, you, you get 20, the $20 styling fee comes off. If you keep everything in the box, I think it's 25% off. Um, so, Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's a really cool subscription. I really like it. Um, the prices are reasonable. You can kind of uh, choose what what bracket you want to be in as far as pricing. I kind of go for, for the lowest because I'm on a budget. <laughs> okay, so here's the box. And... This is what it looks like on the inside. You get a prepaid envelope that goes back. Um, you take it back to the post office. And it doesn't, hi baby, it doesn't cost anything. And here's a little envelope. It says your stylist thought these things would look great on you. And it says, oh, hello. And this here is, it's a bunch of cards, basically. You can, they're, um, you can take them apart and keep them and it, sh it shows you what item you got and how to style it. It's just kind of styling ideas and there is a uh, note from the stylist which I will read and it says your style delivered. Hey there gorgeous, welcome back for fix number three. Kelly, it's a pleasure styling you again. Spring is in full swing in Boca. I saw you updated your sizes and hope the pieces in this fix better fit you. I thought we'd focus on trying some elastic bottoms this time to see if they help with your fit challenges. <laughs> You're going to love the Liverpool skinnies. Oh boy, Liverpool. So pricey. Um, they also have a traditional hem this time. That's good. The cut from the cloth drawstring shorts are also a great option when it's hard to find bottoms to fit. No butt here too. Oh girl, I feel you. No butt. It's a problem. <laughs> I thought you'd love the boho vibe of the tribal top for date night. I wasn't able to grab you the Ella Maxi, which it's which is one of my faves. I saw it in someone else's video and it's so beautiful, but and a really reasonable price, but she did she wasn't able to get it. So I found one with the same Empire fit from Love of Pella that I think you'll really feel great in. I can't wait to see what you think of all of it. All my best, Jen. So, Jen is my stylist again. I want to have makeup on. I thought we were going to go now. <laughs> because we're going to go soon. Not quite yet. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, that was that. And then you have a invoice with everything on it, which I won't look at yet. Okay. So, here's my little bundle and as always oh what is this oh yeah 
They have extras that you can choose from that's not a part of the styling box. And I asked for, um, what is this? Oh yeah, a cami. I tried a cami, a cami before, but it was one of those shapewear camis. And it was just very tight. This is a regular cami, it's not as expensive, so I thought I would try this one. And so I will try that too. All right, as always, I will do a split screen uh, to show you what everything looks like. We'll talk about it as we go along. And it looks like, uh, I don't think it's raining, so maybe I'll go outside to try everything. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Hey, I'm back. Okay, so let's get into this box. So first thing I tried on was this asymmetrical top going on here it's uh, a gray and this one Andrew Mark performance Naoko asymmetrical hem knit top in large why is everything in large okay hang on I, I gotta check something because I changed my sizes I know I did and everything is in my old size so, I'm confused. Okay, so I'm looking at my profile and somehow it still says large and, what? I know I changed it. I must not have changed it. Wait, shirt, no, well, uh, okay. Dress, I have 10, but then it says, large 10 12 I thought 10 was medium let me see medium says six to eight I am so confused and then shirt and blouse I put 10 and it came out to large 10 12 skirt I put large which is supposed to be medium pants says why does it say 12 it's supposed to say 10 I'm so confused. I have 31 inch waist for jeans. Maybe I didn't hit, like, no, there's no save button. Oh my gosh, really? So, I guess it was my bad. My bad, okay, so. And actually the fit on this was, um, was good I did uh, I think that a large was good in this one okay so here's what it looks like whichever direction and it is uh, $38 now I'm not thrilled about the asymmetrical part of it um, I think it's a really soft shirt and had it been for the asymmetrical part, I may be more excited about it. I'll have to see what the what it looks like on me in the video because I'm not sure about this one. But it is super soft. So that is a maybe. All right. Next up is the jeans, which are the Liverpool, which are really expensive usually. Yes, Liverpool Melanie pull on high rise skinny. And these fit like jeggings, so I'm I'm assuming they're like jeggings. Let me see what it says. Oh, it says skinny jean pull on high rise skinny jean. So they're like a a hybrid between a, a jean and jegging. It does feel like jeans though. So they are seventy eight dollars. Size 12, they're, they are too big. Um, I think I would have needed to have gone down to a 10 in these. Hey. Hi, sweetheart. And there's my Eden. My beautiful Eden. You smell like, um, what's that? Turkey. Turkey jerky. You smell like, no, it's actually beef jerky. She likes beef jerky. <laughs> okay, baby. Yeah. So these are comf way comfortable, very comfortable because they are elastic and I do appreciate that and if they were in a 10 they probably would have fit better but I still don't think I would get them because I am not, I don't, I can't spend $78 on, I just can't do it. It's just too much, too much. So next was 
this top this off the shoulder and I do really think this is a pretty top has like this I don't even know what you call that down the bottom um, this one is tribal poly embroidered off the shoulder top in large and I do think it was a little big at $46 so that that's a little it's a little much I think um, and I don't know about the all completely off the shoulder like cold shoulder I like but the off the shoulder I think that would get on my nerves and just like the whole bra situation and I don't know so I don't think it looked terrible I think it may have been a little big so yeah I'm not sure about that either I have to see with the video what it looks like and you can give me your opinions please <laughs> okay next were these shorts these are huh. okay hold on cut from the cloth Roxanne draw string linen shorts in 12 these are $48 as well and they I think are a little big because I sh didn't size down like I said I was going to apparently and there are linen which I'm not real thrilled about linen um, so I don't know had I gone down to a smaller size maybe I'd like them better but I'm not I'm not a big linen fan because they're just so wrinkly and I don't know am I being too picky guys I don't know okay <laughs> next is the dress this one is by love Apella. it's a lauren knit maxi dress in coral large which was too big 78 dollars now the the dress that i like that i asked for was like really it wasn't as much and i'm like oh poop i'm i really wish she had they had them in, but they don't so anyway this is the dress it is cute I like the colors I like the uh, Empire waist the back is cute I think it was just a little big and too long like I would have had to have gotten the hem raised up a little bit because I was walking on the bottoms and I don't like that I don't like walking on the bottoms of stuff um, so and it's very soft so I don't know I, I don't think again I don't think I can pay that much for that I mean if, if, if it was something that really sparked joy and I really loved it I, I might I would consider it but it's if it I'm like eh, it looks okay I'm not, I can't I can't do it all right so that was it and I did try on the um, what is this thing guys my mind is not here today oh my goodness this is a, a cami and this is not a part of the box so if this was the only thing I kept I would I would just pay for it on its own the $20 wouldn't go towards it it only goes towards the box and this this is $14 and it was it's okay I don't know if I'm gonna get this or not um I don't know I, I'm gonna have to think on that too so I am really I don't know what to do with this because I don't know if I love anything in the box oh. the stylist picks total is $288 if you buy all all of them it's minus $72 okay and then they put the extras below that which was $14 so everything with all the discounts is two hundred and ten dollars so I, I know right now I'm not gonna do it obviously but I don't know if I'm gonna not get anything in this box I mean that's a possibility I, I don't want to be like oh I have to get something because I spent the styling fee and uh, you know it's the only problem I don't know let me know what you guys think oh I did it again I'm so sorry I forgot to plug in my microphone after I came in from trying everything on, I, I always do this. Is I forget to plug my mic back in. And there it sits, unplugged. So if you heard the focus, I'm very sorry. I have to like put a sticky note on my camera. 
Uh, okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, you know I love you and God bless. <laughs> Bye.